women's stories matter. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They just they matter. Sell. They yeah. Do. Yeah. And I, you know. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my beauty entertainment channel. My name is Amanda, but this is your first time here. Super cool, absolutely. So if you'd like to follow me on social media, here is my Twitter and my Instagram. Go have fun. Oh, I just got foundation all over myself. Go have fun, enjoy yourself on there. Long time no see, but we're back to talk about another television show. I'm wearing a Jurassic Park shirt today, and I put it on one because I wanted to, because it was comfortable, but two, I think, you know, minus the dinosaurs, pretty similar vibe. If you like, like look at it from a side angle and like divide the two, I think it could be a pretty similar vibe. So today we're here to talk about a show that people have been wanting me to talk about for a while. We're here to talk about yellow jackets. I almost put this in the palm of my hand. That would have been gross. But yellow jackets season one, I know season two just started I think like last month or something but I have not started that yet because I wanted to film this video first and like get all my thoughts about season one without having any without having any bias from season two so I did watch The Wilds before it got canceled really loved that show because so I figured something like Yellow Jackets which is not the same but like kind of similar would be right up my alley and people who were in my DMs thought so as well. So I finally decided to watch it. So like I do in all of these, I'm going to go through like character by character and then share like general shot thoughts at the end because this, this show is, um, I feel like interesting is really all I can say, like, because I don't know, I don't, I personally do not have the vernacular to use another word. I don't know another word. I don't know another word because I have never watched something like that before. Simply put, I have never watched something like that at all before and pretty, pretty shocking. So we're first gonna start with like, basically the people that aren't the main girls. <laughs> I didn't know what to call them. So I wrote the others, but they're just, they're just not, they're just not the main girl. They're not on the soccer team. The other, the other people who were on the show, you know what I mean. So I first want to start off by talking about Coach Ben, not the coach who died, Coach Ben. That was his name, right? So, all right. So was what he did to Misty kind of fucked up? Yes, in a sense, in a sense, in a, in a sense, yes. However, was it fucked up that Misty was continuously, like episodically poisoning him with mushrooms while she had them trapped in the middle of the forest? Yes, in a sense. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, I know, I can see why, like he trot like, I just think there was another way. That is my thesis with him. I think there was another way. Like I, tr like you knew she had a crush on you. I just think feeding in to a teenager's crush on you as an adult is an error. I get, you know, we're in the middle of the tundra, like plane crash, you know, like everything is very, but he, he was doing, a, to me, to a little too, a little too much with that. I think it should have been deaded on arrival. The thing is, there's a couple reasons why I guess he didn't. One, homophobia. I know homophobia is crazy, and even in the jungle, he was afraid of telling people. But and I, and the, on the other hand, I Misty could have killed him. <laughs> That's the thing. Missy was really poisoning him with mushrooms she found in the woods and she was poisoning him so, so often. She in fact created, found a binder out of all their trash and decided to catalog exactly which mushrooms she was gonna use to poison her coach who she thought was in love with her. So I'm not saying that Missy wouldn't have potential. Like I, I would she have killed him? Maybe. Maybe, and maybe that's the reason he did all that. I just think that there was a way to dead that completely. Cause I'm like, if you think Misty's like delusional enough to kill you, why would you, why would you then aid in her already delusion that you like her? I feel like rewarding delusion with more delusion doesn't end well because now she might kill you the fuck anyways. Like she might kill you anyway. So I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that was worth it. Like I thought you were a predator, sir. I was, I was cheering on for your death, like the entire season. And I was like, I thought he was, but I was like, let me not make, let me, let me not, let me not make assumptions like that. I was correct. 
but I'm like, I just feel like there was another way. I'm not gonna, now I have never been um, the on the receiving end of a delusional sort of poison induced like situation like that. So I'm not gonna speak on his state of mind. I just think like there was another way to go about it, especially if it was a fear. But like what, like yes, she could have killed him with the poison and everything. But I feel like even if he had let her down, she would have in her head been like, he's just trying to like save face and like um, pretend to be someone he's not for the girls around. So I feel like her delusion would have allowed her to keep you alive. I just think, I just think the feeding in was a mistake. And I think he's gonna pay for it. I think he's gonna pay for it. So I'm like, so was it worth it? I don't think so. I don't, uh, I, I don't think so. I think, I think you're a little, I think you're a little too old. I think, you know, he, he did have his leg amputated, you know, in the middle of the woods. So I was gonna be like, well, you could technically fight back. He still technically kind of could. I just think Misty has issues and you choosing this path is not gonna subside those issues. I think it's gonna make it worse. But then again, I'm not in his shoes. I don't really know what would have been best. I just know that this was not it. I just, I I just think you could have dead that completely, completely. Would she have been mad? Yeah, but at, le at least we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't, we wouldn't be all the way here. I'm trying a new foundation, tangent. This is the same, whatever foundation that people were talking about their skin that makes their skin look amazing. I look like they're wearing no makeup. So this is it on. I originally got my summer shade, which I think was shade 32. Then I went back and got 29 because I'm very pale right now. I have not gone outside and it's disgusting. Um, but this is what it looks like, just foundation. It does look pretty good. It's pretty glowy, has decent, decent coverage, you know, pretty fresh, pretty fun. But anyway, that's Coach, Coach Bet. There was another way. There was, there was another way. There was another way to handle that situation. Anyways, next up is Hobby. I have nothing negative to say about Hobby. I think he's sweet. Um, I don't know, we don't know much about their home life. I assume we're gonna find out, but I'm genuinely terrified to find out. I feel like Travis takes out all his frustrations on his dad onto Hobby. Hobby didn't do nothing. Hobby didn't do nothing to you. And the fact like he's mad at him for being naive, but I'm like, I don't know how old Hobby is, but he's not your age, bozo. He's not your age. Like he's not your age. Why are you trying to force the gum out of his mouth? Your dad just died. And yes, I don't even like disagree with telling him, you know, our dad was not the best person. I don't disagree with telling him that. I don't disagree with telling him that. I just think Travis has such deep, deep anger issues, but now wants to make it everybody else's problem. And you know, anger issues are a bitch. Having, you know, uh, I'm assuming the dad is a horrible dad. I, from that, it was like a, it was like a 10 second little scene of them like getting in the car before the trip. I got bad vibes from that entire situation. So I'm not even denying that. And I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing to let trap, to let Javi know, hey, our dad wasn't a saint. I don't necessarily think so. I just think Travis has no cooth. He has no, he has no way of doing things in a way that with kindness at all and isn't necessarily his fault probably not if once we learn more of their home life but I'm like it, it calm down he's also freaked out he also crashed in a plane with you I don't think he needs you screaming in his face and eventually he realizes his wrongdoing after doing something so incredibly heinous why didn't we sit back and think a little bit it's the impulsivity for me it's a little it's a little too much but you know teenagers. Um, I'm also trying a new concealer. This is the Lancome, whatever, Tom Edo Ultra Wear Concealer. Um, kind of scared. I don't like trying new concealers, but we're going to see how this goes. Those are my thoughts on Javi. I have, I have no thoughts. He doesn't do anything. Like, um, Shauna saved his life, um, which is great. Um, when they were on that little murderous rampage, you know, women's wrongs, you know, <laughs> can't women have fun? I don't know. Next character up is Travis. I take 
issue with you. This is the, cause I'm like, I only have so much grace left to give. Look how many, how many wrongs we have on the show. I have only, look, look how much chaos has ensued in a mere, was this 10 episodes long? In a very short compilation of time. I am just one person. I cannot give grace to all. I take issue with you. The thing is though, I do believe he has a firm right to be angry. I don't know what, he, I don't know what your dad did, but it's giving ruin, it's giving family ruiner, it's giving childhood trauma, it's giving traumatized into adulthood We, as we saw. So I, you have every right to be angry. I'm not harping on that. It's the making it everybody else's problem. It's making it everybody else's problem and no, like being fucked up and making it everybody else's problem, but simultaneously also thinking you're the greatest person to ever live. It's a very interesting combination because I'm like, you thought you lost the gun shoot off thing and still expected to get handed the gun. I was gonna ask, what is that? We know what that is, but that's just so fascinating to me. That is just so fascinating to me. Like nobody on this trip, although I, would not be surprised if their dad seemed to care more about the girls on the soccer team he was coaching than them as his own children. I would not be surprised if that was the case, but I was gonna say like, they didn't make your father a shitty parent. Even if your dad did do that, they were not the cause of that. There's no need to go on, like you're trapped in the wilderness and period are so disgusting to you. I'm sorry, y'all are gutting bears. You opened a, you opened a, um, what was it? What carcass? Some carcass and maggots came out. Like it's, we have to, we, and I'm going to get on another character doing the same thing. At a certain point, we have to move on. We have to become aware of a situation that we're in and let go of some things. Honestly, it's hard. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but it has to be done eventually. We're, we're trapped in the wilderness. So him and Nat hate that want to burn that with fire I'd hate that i i don't i see why like there's there's it was blatantly obvious and when it happened i was like well duh um both have deeply 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 serious issues that i don't even think 30 years of therapy could unpack i really don't um but i wanted to burn that with a match that that was horrible you know what was worse him and Jackie. I wanted to burn that quicker. And clearly he does too. Clearly he wants to pretend like that never happened. Girl, girl, huh, you are in for a world of hurt. But that was awful. And it was just to mess with Natalie. And what did that get you? Where did that get you? Where did that get you? First off, we start, we are slut shaming Natalie. We're in, our plane crashed in the middle of nowhere. We are hunting wild deer with a like 50 year old shotgun. And we're talking about body counts. I know you would have, you would do so, this is the 90s, you would do so well on 2023 Twitter. You would have the most popular account amongst podcast niggas. You would do so well amongst them. Wow. I have, I haven't seen that's, that's just something to aspire to that level, that level, that level, that's something to aspire to trapped, trapped, no way out in sight, no way out in sight. People are dying, dying. People are dead. Plane burst into flames. Body counts. And why, why, why Natalie had to get on her soapbox and educate you while you're trying to hunt for food so you don't starve to death. That was outlandish. But to be expected doesn't make it less absolutely outlandish. Ugh. But I'm gonna talk more about that Travis and Jackie thing once I get, ooh, ooh, we, d d we're just, we're literally scratching the surface right now. All right, next up is Callie. Shauna's daughter. I think she's really funny. I think her reaction to finding out that her mom was cheating on her dad was really funny. I She's not smarter than Shauna though, which, you know, 
there's a large age difference, but I think Shauna is a teenager up here. Like, I don't think, I think all of them are like still, cause I mean, look what happened. They're all, they're all stuck in that mindset. Um, cause Shauna ate her the hell up when she was trying to blackmail. I'm like, oh girl, you didn't know that your mom, your mom, <laughs> <laughs> your mom's been around the block she she's not she's not one to fall from that but i appreciate the effort of trying to blackmail your mother i i think there's some chutzpah behind that and i respect her i respect her but shauna has life experience that you would i would that i would wish on, wish on my worst enemy so she there was no chance there was no chance of getting one over on shauna shauna's a little too but i fuck with shauna but I'll get to her like later. Like a little blackmail is nothing to the purse. She just, she murdered her boyfriend. Like it, it's really, it's really, it's really, it's really nothing to the, I think I am assuming former cam cannibal. Like it, I, it's, it's really nothing to them. This is really light work to her. Then what is his name? Adam, that boyfriend. I am blank. I literally wrote in my note that boyfriend. I do not remember his name, whoever he was. So he's dead. Um, R.I.P. So we now know that Jeff is the mastermind. Let me, let me, the, quote, let's take these quotations and magnify them 100%. The mastermind behind the blackmailing and shit. I don't think the milk is totally clean in Adam's head. I'm so, I, I don't think so. Maybe I'm, I'm just trying to put like, maybe I have a lot of bias, <laughs> but I, I do not think that he's not shady. I don't think that he's not not. Sh I don't <laughs> double negatives. I think he's shady. I think there's something awry there because why? Like, let's not forget he in fact did lie. I mean, like maybe he did lie to impress her. I'm not saying that that's out. That that's totally out there. Something else is not clean. <laughs> Something else is not clean. I just also, Shauna, I understand like you're still like essentially stuck in the 90s for like good reason. Why didn't you Google him? Why would you think he hadn't Googled you? Why is your teenage daughter the first, like her telling you that the first time you were in a like, you were on People Magazine. Why, why would you not Google him? What, but I'm not talking about Shauna right now. I think, I think he's a little strange. Now this could all be explained by he was just, he's just, he's just a free artist who just fell in love with a middle-aged woman with a family. Like that's whatever. I just think like, it's a little weird. You knew Shauna was married. You knew that from jump. You knew that starting off, showing up to her house, having sex in their bed. Like something's not right there, but he could just be a man. <laughs> That could, that could totally just be possible. I just think there's something else going on. Um, Cause I'm like, well, he could have been lying about the art school to impress her, but I'm like, not why, but something in, I don't think, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think something, something, some, there's some lie. Can I tell you what the lie is? No, there is some lie involved and we will find it out if I have anything to do with it. So that's Adam, I think is his name. Could be making that up. Next up is Jeff. I am here to admit my faults. I am not above retracting statements. I am not above admitting that I was wrong. I was 300% sure he was cheating. I was so, so certain. Even when I was 80% certain, I told Shauna, you can check my life. I told Shauna, go cheat on the man because he's cheating. Even when I was like 70, 80% sure, I was like, cheat back, word to Chloe. That's that's what the path that I was on. I was wrong, you know, but however, I would have liked that better than this. I would have liked that better than this. He actually might be the most unserious character on Yellow Jackets. And we are, we are, you're really competing against a lot of unseriousness around you. Is he serious with this plan? Like, I just wonder how long this took to come up with because it could not have taken more than three minutes. So your idea was to blackmail your wife and her friends for money. 
Your idea was to dress in a black outfit, running. You're running from like seasoned tracks, seasoned soccer stars, mind you. They were, they were, they were like, <clears throat> they were honing in on him. You decided to then assault one of your friends, one of your wife's friend, while running away from this supposed blackmail to get money. Let me just say, imagine if you put that much time and effort into selling furniture. Think of where we would be. Think of where we would be. Think, think that we wouldn't be taking money from, <sighs> Jackie's parents wouldn't be offering us money from college who think that we're broke. Think of where we would be. We would be somewhere else. We would be somewhere the fuck else. We would have something going for us. All this effort, all this effort for a stupid plan. A stupid plan. A stu now, he's not the reason why, I think his name is Adam, got killed, but it wasn't, it was like, you made it this intricate, intricate, yet so completely simple, yet so mind-numbingly simple. Fascinating. However, I will say, he actually does love her, which I, I wasn't like, I don't know if surprise is the right word, um, but I was like, that's interesting. He actually does really love her because he read those diaries and was like, Meh. you know, life goes on. We all make mistakes, which is totally true. Um, you know, sorry for accusing you of cheating. <laughs> that is really my bad. Um, Cause I was really sure I was really, this is really bright. This is the Juvia's Place blush. I was really sure, have issues with Juvia's Place, but I wanted to try the blush. I really thought he was cheating. Oh my God. <laughs> oh no. I real I really thought he was cheating. Um, so I can admit when I'm wrong. Um, but your plan doesn't make much sense. I don't think your plan is much better than cheating because what happens when they find this out? And now we already saw in the finale, Adam's family and friends are looking for him. Pookie. What did we think was gonna happen? I just don't think he's very bright. I don't think Jeff is very bright, but he does love Shauna. Oh my God. Oh my God. I did not. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That is some pig meant. My bad. I did not know your spirit. I did not know. <laughs> I did not know this is what you do these places working with. I did not know that because that's a lot. Oh my goodness. I don't even need to, I don't even need to put powder blush on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. We're going to need to mess with this just a little bit. Just, just, just a little bit. Now that we've gotten through them, we can talk about the girls, the main girls, the all-star soccer team, period. Um, so first up, we have Akila. She hasn't really done anything, so I have nothing to say, but I have nothing negative to say either. So there's that. Then we have Mari, who also hasn't done much, so I have nothing to say, but also nothing negative to say, which is a good thing. I need to blend out this nose a little bit more. Next up, oh man. <laughs> Next up, we have Laura Lee. Man, oh man, rest in peace. Rest, wow. <laughs> wow, because let me tell you, I knew it wasn't gonna go well. I knew, I said, no way, no way, no way this is gonna go well. There was no, there was no, I was, I was not expecting her to come out of it alive. I wasn't. But I thought the plane would like crash into the water or like crash into the forest or like, or, or like exploding. The teddy bear catching on fire and making the plane explode in mid air. Who the fuck writes this show? Who writes this show? Not the actual worst possible scenario. You got Grey's Anatomy writers in the room? The actually worst possible scenario. Cause it would have been still messed them up for life if she had crashed into the water, crashed into the forest. Like, you know, like some, something crashed into the mountain. I don't know where they are. Exploding in mid air. Exploding in mid air. 
However, something that keeps me sane about that, she did was able to make peace with her death right up there. I just can't believe that Ted, that damn teddy bear with her demise. Cause, but the thing is, I don't know if it would have gone well even if the teddy bear was not there. Cause Laura Lee made peace with her death. She made peace with her death up there when he shot the teddy bear burning, but she made peace with her death long before she even got on the plane, before she even went and told them all, by the way, I'm taking the plane. I'm going to go try to get us help. She had made peace with herself. So that's like keeping me like sane about like that whole thing, because everyone was like, you're going to die. And I was sitting on the, um, in front of my computer, like, you're going to die. There is no way you're coming back from this alive. But this was her, like, she was like, this is my calling. This is the reason I was in the plane crash. I was here to save my friends and I have to at least try. And she's like, I don't care if I die. And she did, and she did rest in peace. Cause she, you know, that's someone, she talks the talk, but she said, I'm going to walk the walk now. So I respect her rest in peace. That was a, crazy death that was that was I'm not gonna say uncalled for because I was like it's not looking good but that was still a really 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 wild death rest in peace Laura Lee that's a really funny name to me I didn't form any sort of strong opinion on her before um she died like she was trying to help Lottie through Lottie um even after thinking Lotta, Lottie was like crazy so she did think Lottie was a little um crazy but she still helped her you know in her own little way but Laura Lee I, I don't know what else to say I, I, I don't I really don't know what else to say because what how am I supposed to respond to that how am I supposed to respond to that literally at all because that oh my god who wrote that? <laughs> Who wrote that down? They really said, we're going to like traumatize them in the, and me, in the absolute worst possible way. The worst way you can think of, we're gonna beat that. We're gonna beat that. Now, Lottie. I, I don't have my powder puff. Hmm. I, I fuck with teen Lottie. I do. I think so. She had there's a couple things going on. So she has like some sort of gift and schizophrenia, according to the med that she was taking, because I didn't learn about that med like three weeks ago. So I assume they went to the doctor, told her, like, this is what's happening. The doctor said it's schizophrenia. Um, don't know. <sighs> Oof. Because I'm just like her head. Imagining what's going on up there, Jesus Christ. And her home life clearly did not help said gift or whatever issue was going on because like hearing her parents argue like that, she was like five. She looked very, she looked under the age of seven in that like life before, like the little like childhood scene, whatever that was. But this is the first time her experiencing her head and her brain with absolutely no medication because she was searching all over for that. Not only, not only like the stress and the trauma and the experience of, you know, being in a plane crash, being stranded because of Misty, um, she is now experiencing her brain in full force the first time since she was like five years old. That's, wow. That's, wow. Oh, wow. And she actually, she is predicting the future. She is predicting the future because she predicted that, that accident kept her parents alive. Hello. Um, predicted that red river uh, and the smoke. This little like cult type group thing. I don't really know what to call that. Like that, that they're doing like while they're still there. Like they're in the forest trapped for life because of Misty. I wouldn't, I'm not going to fault them for all trying to turn to something. I'm not, cause there's no, there's currently no end in sight and it's not even winter yet. It's literally not even winter yet. So I'd be buying into just about anything too. 
that's that there's that now adult Lottie I'm scared um I'm I'm re I'm really 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 scared because why do you have goons why do you have goons and black escalates why are you emptying Travis's bank account after he died what who are you who are you and what are you doing because I'm frightened I'm genuine I am genuinely scared who are these goons that are kidnapping Natalie who 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 what power do you have what are you control I'm terrified I'm terrified because baby I learned very quickly from Laura Lee this show is going to give you the worst possible scenario so I'm terrified I'm not getting caught up again because I was really like oh you know she's not gonna survive but she'll crash into the water <laughs> exploding in midair exploding in midair they have to watch her body and pieces of, of plane fall into the water so I'm prepared for the worst possible scenario with adult Lottie so I am terrified completely and utterly terrified completely terrified I don't this is the thing with the shrooms and the murderous rampage is that an interesting choice to choose when you're on shrooms yes however I can't because they were on they were on not just like shrooms like sh they were on sh mushrooms found in the woods so I look at all everything that happened in that like <laughs> the like almost orgy slash like murderous like hunting down thing as like because of the shrooms now it wasn't interesting you know like wow choosing hunting human hunting to do when you're on shrooms that that is a choice not a choice I don't think I would make that on shrooms but who's to say these are wild wild mushrooms and women's wrongs <laughs> Eh, eh. okay so that's a lot I am frightened of adult Lottie though because what do you why do you have goons there's who who just has goons that would kidnap people who does who has that I'm scared um next up is Van first off I fuck with Van Heavy I do fuck with Van. Let me tell you something. Let me get some of Van's prayer. Let me get whoever your praying grandmother is. Let me get some. Let me get a quick verse in there. Almost died twice. I don't think you understand. I lost my mind. I lost my line twice. Because I already like liked her before. Where is my blush brush? I already like liked her before she said something funny in like the first episode so I was like oh that was funny I like you then she almost died first of all I me one thing about me I would have been mad at Jackie for the rest of my life for the rest of my life I don't care that I survive <laughs> I don't care that I survive I would have been mad at her for the rest of my entire my entire life breathing on her I would have been pissed at her I would have I would have been pissed at her so She's justified in that. So she almost dies in the plane crash, almost burns to a crisp. Then she gets attacked by wolves and had half her face mauled off and was, was presumed dead. Then was about to be burned alive because she was alive. Survived that. Then she goes and survives sutures, filling in a gaping open wound with no anesthesia i fuck with man that's that's something i got that is like utmost i have utmost respect for you and i would like a verse of your prayer i wow i don't know anything else about her <laughs> just know her mom has like a drinking problem none of their home lives put me at ease the, at least the ones that we saw none none of them put me at ease what's whatever part i think that was the first episode when they were like going through like little bite-sized segments of like their home lives sent me into a coma 
what 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 the fuck do you mean? What do you mean? Drinking, fishing, uh, was it an otter or a ferret? Something out of your pool, taking drugs, and you're you saying your mom wouldn't even notice these because your mom is just on these drugs all the damn time. I'm frightened. I'm fr I'm frightened. I'm frightened by the home situation. Them like. I'm not saying like Lottie's parents because like they were doing what the doctor told them to do um, but I'm like like you acting probably they probably acted terrified of their daughter um, I'm not, I don't think their daughter could I don't think Lottie could like fully do like she obviously couldn't express herself very much because you know they're probably afraid of her and they are probably afraid of her one because of like the things she said but they're also probably afraid of her because there's lots of stigma around the diagnosis of schizophrenia so i just think her home life because they showed like her like in this big house and um the like house person coming and giving her the meds she looked literally dead inside like that was what wow, that was scary misty what what a, a ferret in a pool what's what's happening there but we there's so much to unpack with misty we have van trying to shake her mother awake to have her drive her to the plane to go on their championship game and then it being like lottie's dad's private plane i'm sure like all those issues with like because they, they also were not there in the house with her so i'm sure they were they they were afraid of their daughter and left and we're like, we just, if we just give her money and big things and nice things, she will not remember that we as her parents abandoned her. And then Jackie, Jackie's mom is, we've, she's talked, she was in that, just that one scene with Shauna. Seems like, um, what is the word for that? I'm scared of her too. Um, be, was it oxy whatever drug that was to being able to take some of it that your mom wouldn't notice that's really frightening what was that home life like um i don't remember if we sh saw like shauna's or thaisa's but i'm assuming it wasn't good either because it's just it that little segment put me into that was a world of hurt that was that was a world of hurt that was a world of hurt like the idea of being able to predict the future and being right, I would be scared of Lottie. Cause I'm like, what else do you know? Do you know how I'm gonna die? <sighs> um, but from a parental point of view, if her daughter like feels that, mm -mm. not not gonna work, especially like why they weren't there. It was the day before or the day of her like flying out to her champion soccer whatever this is the championships of her just a really good soccer player they weren't even there for that i feel like they're never there but i don't know i'm just assuming i'm just assuming that of them but what were we talking about van i thought she died twice i thought she died when the wolf you know came at her entire face and i was saying that because of thais i was like no wonder she's so fucked up as an adult she had to watch van die twice i was wrong but ugh, we'll get to thaisa in a literal moment and i was like no wonder she's literally eating dirt she had to watch her die twice but she didn't but she didn't the episode i will never i don't think i'm ever gonna watch the episode again though or at least not this scene when they were like walking back first of all that whole the whole mauling instant i'm not watching that again but when they were walking back and van was like leave me it literally felt like i was getting a root canal like three like four separate root canals i was i will never ever 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 watch that part ever again I'm like bless your hearts it's, it's not gonna be me it's not gonna be me <sighs> Like, I was very scared that she was gonna die again, another another near-death experience, but I saw, I did see a little, like a still from one of the season two episodes, and adult Van is there. So that means she is alive. So that means I don't have to watch the episodes with bated breath, because who knows, they might throw in an, yet another near-death experience for her, but someone is watching over Van. I don't know who, but somebody's watching over Van. Is this my brow wax? But yeah, I like Van. 
Um, but that really, that really, that was really a tumultuous experience. Watching somebody die, not die, die, not die, die, not die, die, not die. That was a lot for me. That was a lot for me. Next up, we have Natalie. I like Natalie. I like teen Natalie. I like adult Natalie too. She's just more, she's just interesting. <laughs> interesting, but that is to be um, expected. That is, that is, that is to be expected. Um, I like teen Natalie. I think she's kind of a badass. I think she's cool. Uh, I think Travis is horrible for her as do the rest of her teammates that mm, it's been about how long like six episodes and it's 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 not it's looking horrible it's looking horrible and horrible and horrible but that's for another day this like the constant referring to her as like a burnout makes no sense to me. Maybe that's the point of the insult, but it makes no sense to me. She's on the champion soccer team with all of you guys too. Like despite what she does in her free time and her home life, she's still, and she's good. So I don't, maybe I'm not, maybe it's like the insult is like one of those where you to suspend reality, but it doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't make any sense to me. So like she does drugs. And she's still on the team with you. She's not on the bench. She's not on the bench. Anyways, her home life. First off, her mother blaming her for her idiot husband shooting himself. All right. I wish she would have shot him, but it was funnier this way. It was, it was, it was funnier this way. It was, it was funnier this way, but literally what do you mean and then her like when she went back home as an adult her mom still acting like that you haven't seen your daughter in who knows how many years if like he shot himself pookie blame his stupidity blame his lack of gun safety blame that adult natalie is fascinating it's not surprising that this is how she would turn out, but it's still it's still fascinating. Honestly, having to work with Misty would make anyone lose their mind. So there's that. I honestly, I don't know if they're just like saying like, oh, like Travis like didn't commit suicide. If I'm supposed to just believe that, because I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily believe that. The only reason where he was how would he have gotten up there by himself that's my only reasoning behind why i kind of believe her i don't know if them saying that in the last few episodes would like solidify oh like she was wrong but or if that was just like i the show stresses me out so i don't know if that was like the truth or if that's like the truth for now i don't necessarily believe that i just don't know how he would have gotten up there by himself but maybe i don't know anything which is which is fair that all of that with Kevin, I don't, I don't know how to address that. I don't, I, I don't know what that was. I don't know what the point of that was. I, it, I just, it, no. And that's one thing about Natalie. She is going, if you like hurt her, if she feels hurt in any way, she is going to say the actual worst possible thing she can think of to you. Like she's not, she's not going to hold back. She's not going to build up to anything. She's going to say the worst possible thing she could come up with about you and say it with, say it with confidence. That's, that's, and she was like, well, and I'm like, girl, you stole the cop's gun and shot it. How is he supposed to react? Also a cop, Ugh. but how is he supposed to react to that? How You took a cop's gun and shot it. And when he was like, who's taking me to where the bullets are? She was like, huh, girl, <laughs> what did you, what did you think was gonna happen? Now, I'm assuming it's Lottie's goons who kidnapped her. Where the, what, why? It's cause she was asking too many questions. That's why I'm like, no, I do not. I do not think he killed himself. No, I do not. No, I actually do not. Ugh. But that's Natalie. She's an in an, in an interesting one to say the absolute least about her, but I kind of like her. 
I think she's funny and I actually like despite you know Misty being Misty I like think their like scenes together are really funny. The show is kind of really funny <laughs> besides you know like when it's not doing this when it's not the like, killing it's actually kind of funny I think it's kind of funny I don't know how I'm supposed to but I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> Misty. First off, this is the girl who played the con artist's daughter on The Sweet Life. Um, because I rewatch that show quite often, so when I saw her, I was like, OMG, I know you. And I did know her. What the hell are we gonna do about Misty? What the hell are we gonna do about Misty? And let me tell, let me have it on record. I tried with her. I tried to be like, oh, her demolishing that little black box, like the thing that would help people come save them. Like who fucked her up so bad that she felt, like when she felt needed for the first time, she like would keep people trapped in the tundra to feel needed. But unfortunately, Misty is a freak. Unf like, un 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 unfortunately, the bullies were correct. I, I don't know what you want me to say about that. Unfortunately, the bullies, the mean girls, they were all correct. Because what what do you mean, Misty? So she goes, she dest destroys their only chance of getting out of there. Then she starts poisoning the coach to keep him needing her. Whenever he pisses her off, she's like, well, poison. And you wouldn't know it because I'm supposed to be actually helping you. That's strange. She's like, you know what, if, if you hurt me, I kind of have to punish you, but without knowing. And then he catches on and is like, oh shit, I think Misty poisoned me again. <laughs> again? She actually, or that binder was crazy. Cause I was like, oh, so you like, this is not like, you're not poisoning him on a whim. You were trying to figure out what type of poison could cause the behaviors that you want. Misty's a freak. Like I, I'm, how else am I supposed to describe her? That is freaky. And she still is an adult, still playing with people's health, withholding medications randomly, stealing medications to uh, um, sedate somebody so she can kidnap them. She's holding people hostage. Now that reporter was strange. That reporter was strange. Thais is strange for hiring her. But, you know, hostage situations, interesting. Fucking up Natalie's car so she's forced to ride with you. Like, Misty is just a fascinating creature. But even when she did all of that, like, Natalie was not surprised. Because I'm like, Misty, this is who you're known as. <laughs> like, and then her becoming a nurse. How do you want me to react like that? And the funny, that's why I think the show is funny. She was like, you guys don't know the work I've put in, the poor, the depth that I have gone to to figure out who our black blackmailer is. And she's talking about kidnapping a woman and holding her hostage. Misty is something else. Misty spying on Natalie with whatever that knickknack was while she's grinding up meds to use to kidnap the reporter. Where do you, where, who like invented this character? Wh who, like, who, who does that? However, she did stop her from doing coke. So it's like many, many, many losses, one win. Many, it was a fucked up way, but she stopped her. But it was a fucked up way of getting there because how did you know she was out to do coke? How did you know she was out to do coke? Misty, were you were you spying? Yes, Misty was spying. I think she's so deeply freaky. I'm like, were you always this way? Like, oh, did something make you this way? Do you just like wake up and say, you know, I've never felt needed. So now that we've crashed in a plane, I'm the owner of the babysitter's license. I'm gonna destroy, um, but also nobody heard her destroying that uh, gigantic box. That is my, like, they were asleep, sure. But I'm like, none of you guys were a light sleeper. None of you guys had to go to the bathroom. No, nobody heard that at all. That's actually kind of crazy to me because what do you mean? Misty's a freak. I tried with her. I did. I want that on record. I tried. Shouldn't have, but I did. 
like she gives me goosebumps. I'm scared of Misty. That's who I'm actually scared of. That's who I'm actually scared of is Misty. Cause like Lottie predicting the future, like that's like a scared respect, like respect, like respect scared. I'm just scared of Misty. I'm, I'm, I'm just scared of Misty. What? Cause I'm like, this can't be the end. <laughs> this can't be the end. I can't wait till they find out that she destroyed their only chance of getting help. That'll be a really funny episode too, but she's still alive. So they didn't really like really harm her in any way. But I'm like, cause they're gonna, I'm like, no, has any, no one, they moved away from that site. But I'm like, someone is gonna find this random box beaten in and being like, hmm, what happened here? Anyways, next up we have Thaisa. I love Thaisa. I love how deeply fucked up she is, um, even after all the success, cause it's so real. It's so like she, they're all deeply fucked up, um, but she's so, so fucked up because there is no way she would be okay. That, that's why I like that conversation that her and Sean have. I also like their relationship. I think it's like the little like secret telling, I'm pregnant by my best friend's baby dad. Like I, <laughs> that was really funny. But it's like that conversation she had with Shauna was really real. Cause she's like, I, she said, well, you did all those things. Yes, she accomplished great things and none of it, none of it, not, and it probably made everything actually a little bit worse, but none of it healed her. Not the like overcoming adversity, none, none of it helped her. None of it helped her. She is still eating dirt. She is still eating dirt. Like, <laughs> I do not think it was a smart decision for her and like the five of them to like leave and try to go find help. I did not think that was a smart decision whatsoever. Lo and behold, I was right. Um, I know why she did it, but I'm like, at the core, it didn't make any sense. She just felt like useless. And that's why she wanted to go out and do something. But I'm like, you, let's remember when you were in the plane and you were looking out of the plane, did you see anything? Did you see anything? No, all you saw were woods. All we saw was woods as far as the eye could see. The cabin is the only thing that's there. The cabin is the only thing that's there. Adult Thaisa, she got problems. She has some deep, deep problems at home. She has some very, like Shauna has a blackmailing idiot husband and just murdered somebody, but you have some deep, deep problems at home. You need to drop out of that race. When she got like that second wind and was like, you know, actually I'm gonna do this. I was like, you are not serious. Cause your wife this whole time has been like, I feel like you don't care about our family. I feel like you're not doing this, that, and a third, this, that, and a third. And you proved her right at literally every jump, that's crazy. I thought after that white lady played in her face, she was gonna be like, oh, I shouldn't do this because that's who I have to answer to. But, 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 but still no. And then that little when she, um, they wanted to take Sammy to, you know, talk to somebody because, because yeah, she was talking a little shit about therapy. And I'm like, girl, are you not in therapy? Are they not in therapy? Cause that doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me. Even in 30 years, 30 years of therapy could not unpack what they had to do in, in for those like 19 months. And so I learned from that, that I don't think she was in therapy, which is, it did happen in the nineties, but no intervention, not even an attempt. Maybe they attempted and she was like, no, no, no comment. She was already fucked up in the wilderness. Like she was already sleepwalking when they were there. You were, what do you think the remaining like 12 months did? Eek, that was really scary. She was eating dirt. She was biting into her own flesh. And I assume she's the like bad lady in the window that Sammy keeps talking about. They found your like sacrificial altar in the basement. Your wife found it. Like it's no, Thais, like, no, you need to not be talking badly about, like the thing is, I don't know what, 
if there's a therapist that could really help her really well, but they could maybe they could find a team, um, multiple people. When she was telling, because at least she has a cognizance to recognize that, hmm, I am not doing well. Not exactly how to seek help, but I'm not doing well right now. Because when she was telling Simone, um, her wife, and to take Sammy and leave, that was really sad. But it was really neat. Because I was like, you, you can't be. I was telling her through the screen. You cannot be here. You cannot be here. I also think the acting like she was fine for so, so long and the accomplishments of all that, ignoring what had happened, being like, I made it through. I pushed past it. Damn, you are the same as Natalie. Everyone is on the set the same level. You're all the same level of fucked up. It does not matter that she did this and you didn't know. No, you were all so, everyone is spiraling. Natalie is not the only one who is spiraling. Everyone is spiraling in many different like come on. Look at look at Misty. <laughs> look at look at Misty's life. Look at Misty every every action Misty did in this whole season. Look at everything Shauna. Shauna thinks she's 17. Shauna literally thinks she's 17. Taisa is eating dirt. Like everyone is deeply, deeply, deeply fucked up. Okay? Nobody, nobody is doing well whatsoever. I do like her and Shauna's friendship. That's an interesting thing to bond over. Taisa being like, you are pregnant, right? And Shauna's like, I can't even lie to you. Like, I can't even lie to you. And then Shauna said, I'm just gonna spill everything. In fact, this is Jess, baby. I am fucking my best friend's man. Yup, yup. And we need to do an abortion in the woods. That was, that was, that was something to watch. That was, that was truly something really, really fascinating to watch. Really fascinating to watch. Oh my goodness. Next up, okay. Next up we have Jackie. Not to speak ill of the dead, of the frozen, I'm not a fan, like, at all. <laughs> like, mm, like, there's things that I give her and there's a lot of things that I have to take away. So we're in the negatives with Jackie, unfortunately, and she, not, that, I shouldn't make that joke. She, let's go through the facts. She does treat Shauna like a lap dog. I'm not saying Shauna doesn't like feed into that too. I think it's ridiculous, but she does treat her like a lap dog. Let's all be honest. Why are you upset that Shauna didn't vote for your idea? Your plane just crashed. You can't get your foot off her neck for a little bit, a li like one hour. No. She doesn't, she absolutely believes Shauna is uglier than her, worse off than her, kind of a loser. And the only reason that Shauna is like not a full loser is because she's in association with Jackie. She believes that. Don't, don't try to convince me otherwise. I appreciate the confidence of like thinking you're the best at everything, despite all the evidence contrary to you. I do appreciate that. I thought it was really funny when the coach was like, you know, you're not the, like, why, why do you think I made you captain? You're not the best on the team by any, by any metric, by any standard. And I was like, that's really funny. <laughs> that's really funny. Um, that is really funny. Let's get this out of the way. Her. Shauna fucking your man was crazy. That was wrong. That was ab that was absolutely wrong. That was wrong. That was uncalled for. That it was. It was. It was. It was. I think my theory. I think she either wants to be you or be with you. Probably both. I think it's both. And that's why she was fucking Jeff. Cause I also, I don't think Shauna likes Jeff. At least like teen, I don't think teen Shauna likes Jeff. I think adult Shauna tolerates Jeff. Um, but I think adult Shauna like does not think she's capable. Like she is capable of anyone loving her. So I think that's also a part of it as well. But I don't think teen Shauna likes Jeff, like likes Jeff at all. Um, she seems annoyed by his presence <laughs> often, which is why I think my theory, even as an adult, which is why I think my theory is right. Um, but honestly, I think Jackie's kind of annoying. 
unfortunately. Unfortunately, nobody wants to cut bear meat. Nobody wants to cut deer meat, but unfortunately, you've been in the woods for six months and you have to eat. Nobody wants to do outdoors chores. Nobody wants to do, I would be disgusted. I wouldn't want to do that either. But unfortunately, there's no end in sight, <laughs> Jackie. And everyone else seems to be doing their part. Why Shauna have to come over and warn you? They're a little upset at you right now. You couldn't pick up on that? You couldn't pick up on that? The, now, the, like, like, kissing thing and the murderous, like, hunting escapade was strange. I agree with Jackie. That was bizarre. <laughs> that is some, that's a massive side eye. They were on wild mushrooms, though, so I thought she could have toned down the side eye a little bit. Were the actions correct? No. No, no, they almost literally cut his throat. No, no. But they were on wild mushrooms, Jackie. I think you can, I think you can like, like, cause she was like side eyeing them like they were sober doing that. They were not, they were not Jackie. Like calm down a, 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 a little bit, a little bit. She was being really judgmental and I'm like, the reason why you're being so judgmental is because you were also not on the stream. Now, I'm not saying that like you would have also done the same thing, but they were on, they were not in a correct state of mind, literally whatsoever. Literally. Now there were some of them who were not doing that while on the same stream. So I, I, I can see, but just take the side eye down a touch, a literal touch. <laughs> This, the end, ran, the random like leap onto Travis at the end was weird. Cause it wasn't even just, it was not just that she didn't want to die a virgin. It was not that. It was that Shauna hurt me. So I'm going to hurt everyone around me, which is, <laughs> what sense does that make? Telling Travis that Natalie like slept with the flex, whatever that, that nickname guy is weird. Why is that your business? Why do you care? Like why try to fuck with Natalie through Travis? Like, it's not just about not wanting to die a virgin. She was hurt. You read Shauna's diary. Not to victim blame, you read Shauna's diary. You were nosy. And this is what being nosy, that's the thing. If you're gonna decide to be nosy, you have to be okay with finding out information that will hurt you. I, that's why I could not feel bad for her when she was boohoo crying. I'm like, you read the diary. Shauna is fucked up. Let's start at principle. Shauna is fucked up. Shauna is fucked up for that. You were nosy and you got the result of the nosiness. <laughs> you got the result of the nosiness. What did you think was gonna happen? My confusion is why not go beat Shauna's ass? Why not go beat Shauna's ass? What's that about? Why fuck with Natalie? Why fuck with Natalie? What did Natalie is not even involved? Natalie did not make you, <laughs> Natalie did not make Shauna sleep with your boyfriend. But she wanted to hurt somebody else the way Shauna hurt you, but she didn't want to hurt Shauna directly. Why do we think that is? Why do we think that is? Hmm. 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 So she died. That's unfortunate. She could have taken her ass inside. She's stubborn. Jackie's really stubborn. I do respect stubbornness to a certain degree because it's like, yes, I am right. I, I, under, I understand you. She could have taken her ass inside. They did kick her out. I don't think any of them were evil at the are evil at the core. So I think they would have let her back in once they went outside and were like, oh shit, it's freezing out here. Um, so she did not deserve to freeze to death. That that was that was really wild. <laughs> that was they would have but they would have let you inside. They would have they would have they would have let you inside. Um it's unfortunate. It's unfor it's 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 quite unfortunate. It's unfortunate that she had to die that way, but it's like her, who her character is, like the perfect girl who was a little cruel um, and then tragically died and then was revered that way at that um, little reunion that they had. Like that was, it's very like who her, who her character is, but I'm not a fan. Sorry. Um, her parents, 
they, you know, their teenage daughter died in a freak accident, freak, not freak accident, but you know, um, but kind of freak accident. They're mean. <laughs> They're really mean. They were calling Shauna all types of ugly. Her mom was calling her all types of ugly losers. You were nothing without Jackie. You were like, you were just walking around. We didn't know who you were. You would have been like no without her girl. Your daughter is dead. So Shauna had to let them do all of that. And that's why I was like, Jeff, I do appreciate you sticking up for her there. He didn't do it well. It was very poorly done. Um, but I, I do I do appreciate you you doing that. I do appreciate you doing that. Um, I do appreciate you doing that. I do appreciate you doing that. So I do I do I do appreciate you doing that. Um I'm not a fan. I'm sorry. I'm not a fan of Jackie. Um, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. And nobody is comfortable with the fact that they're living in the woods. Nobody likes that you have to bathe in a lake. Nobody likes that you have to cut up carcasses. But that situation that we're in, we can't, we can't act prissy or too good to do that now. We're all dying. We're all dying. Also, this is a life lesson. Don't be nosy. Jackie taught you all, everyone, a life lesson. Don't be nosy if you're not okay with finding out some very, very, very hurtful information. You're setting yourself up. You're setting yourself up. Anyways, Shauna. We'll take this out of the way. She is fucked up for sleeping with her best friend's man. She is fucked up. Principal, that's a, that's, a, that's a bad principal. Even if Jackie was treating you like dirt, even if you wanted to be Jackie or be with Jackie, it's in poor taste. It's a bad look. It's a bad look. And no condom, even poor taste. It's, it's, it, it's just, it's, and now you're pregnant, stranded, lost, and confused. Bad look. That's out of the way. I think Shauna is like goofy. Like I think she is a walking ridiculousness episode, but I am entertained. I find her quite bland, yet entertaining. Cause I'm like, you are 17 years old. Like you are 17 years old. You've been 17 years old for like 30 years. That is really interesting. And she's so bland, yet fascinating. The like, um, what does she do? She does nothing. She had that, was it the first episode? Everybody around her was calling her a loser. She saw Thais's ad for state senator calling her a loser. Her daughter calling her a loser. Like it was, it's just, it's not good for Shauna. It's not, it's not, it's not good for Shauna at all. Shauna loves to kill things. She loves draining blood from living things. That's really interesting. <laughs> That's really fascinating. I fully supported her affair. I, even though I thought he was having an affair too, I supported it anyways. Cause Shauna was bored in that house. Y'all could not tell me Shauna was entertained in that house. What she was bored out of her mind with that man. So that's why I supported women's wrong. That's the whole season of Yellow Jackets, women's wrongs. Her being a teenager again, that was interesting. Like seeing her daughter at a party she was at, was interesting. That was hollering, laughing. Like Shauna was in the streets. And then she murders her boyfriend. Shauna, she's fascinating. She's fascinating yet just so, <laughs> so this yet fascinating. It's, fa it's, it's, she's an interesting one. That was a really funny scene to me when Thaisa um, walked in and was like, you murdered him? She was talking to Shauna like she was a toddler who had spilled her juice. Girl, and it was murder. It was a dead man on the floor. I think the show is funny. I think the show is really funny. So, those are the characters. Now some standout parts. That shroom kissing escapade type thing i was watching that whole like of hunting him down i was watching it dazed and confused it felt like 
I was high. I was like, is this a dream? The entire time I was like, am I having a nightmare? What is currently happening on my screen? I had to rewind. I was like, what just happened? What? Then I'm like, they're on shrooms. They are on wild mushrooms from the forest because Misty poisoned them. That's what happened. The currently alive, the people who are who I know are currently alive, I think they're all funny in their own specific way. I think they're funny together. I think they're all kind of walking disasters as well. Like, the I really liked when Thaisa and Natalie were chasing after Jeff. I was like, athletes, they are really like seasoned athletes because they were like hunting him. So I'm like, damn, y'all kept on hunting people after the, the Travis situation? Maybe, because we still don't know who that girl was in the first scene, because I thought it was Jackie because of the necklace, but I'm like, Jackie froze to death, so that couldn't have been her. Now I'm confused. Now I'm confused and now I'm kind of scared, honestly. Oh, and when Natalie was helping, I think it was Kevin's child with the soccer, I was like, oh, you love soccer. Like she's good at soccer. She felt a little, a little, a little warmness in her heart. And that all went to shit <laughs> quite, quite, quite quickly, um, as I learned happens on the show, because it was a little slow for some episodes and then like shrooms really really speed thing we're really really speeded things up next question this plane crash did someone plan this what are these symbols i'm frightened because the symbols are all i thought the symbol was something the girls came up with together because like oh we are surviving in the woods here's our little flag but they're already carved into the trees. They're already, wasn't it in the, the, the crazy man's cab, the gun nuts cabin? What is going on? Does Shauna have this baby? I can't imagine so. I cannot imagine, I cannot imagine so. Uh, one, her daughter, it can't be her daughter. Her daughter I think is too young. But I'm like, does she deliver this baby? I can't imagine so. I cannot imagine, I cannot imagine so based on stress alone from surviving. I can't imagine that that actually happens. But I'm like, she is pregnant. She is pregnant as of right now. What the fu- And then her, Jackie just died. Shauna's sitting there imagining, literally ha having a hallucination in her head a, while Jackie is freezing to death 20 feet away. I have never seen any show like this. That is my that is my selling point to you to watch Yellow Jackets. You will I don't I don't think you've ever seen a show like this. So if you want to watch something you have quite literally never ever ever seen before, watch this show. If you want to watch something that you will you don't know you're not knowing what's coming. You don't know what's coming. I mean, if you just watched my whole video, then you do, but you don't know what's coming. You should watch this show. You should, because it's, you won't, you won't. And I'm frightened to start season two because I don't know where this is going. I don't know where we're ending up. I know we spend, they spend a period of time here in, you know, the woods, but Sean just murdered somebody and his family has put out a missing alert for him. And they're gonna find out that he knew Shauna. So I'm scared for that. Jeff, the idiot, <laughs> I'm scared they're gonna find out that he's the one who blackmailed all of them instead of putting effort into his job. But you know, desperate times calls for desperate, measure, desperate measures, so whatever. I'm frightened about this damn baby. Um, well, I was worried she was gonna bleed out from the like in the woods abortion. I'm very worried about her bleeding out now. I. <sighs> I'm terrified. I'm honestly that like Lottie um, cult thing that like Van and I forgot who the second girl was in the, in that. That is the least frightening part about this about this whole season. Okay, <laughs> okay, they're looking to Lottie to lead them. That was the least frightening part about about my like thoughts for next season. That literally slipped my mind. Just came to my mind just now that that like I remember that happened. Eh. Eh. 
there's a there's a pregnant person here her best friend just froze to death even though they like kind of hated each other slash loved each other it was that relationship is bizarre at best bizarre at best um I'm frightened and it's this is not a show where you can predict the future this is not a show that I can use pattern recognition on at all at all I just know now from Laura Lee the worst situation is the situation that's likely to happen so that was that was good to know so yeah that's it those are my thoughts on yellow jacket season one i was i really liked it i really like the show i'm excited to start at season two i'm nervous but i'm more excited um they're good at what they do these actors wow they're fucking talented <laughs> they are fucking talented every single one of them is really fucking talented um the writers have are cooking with gas cooking with gas um and yeah so let me know your thoughts on yellow jackets i don't really have favorites i just dislike misty i just dislike misty but she's fun to watch but i support women's wrongs everyone else can be wrong i support women's wrongs so i really misty's wrongs are just a little a little different a little a little a little different um because let me find out you're the reason why we're trapped here <laughs> no but yeah let me know your thoughts on yellow jacket season one um don't spoil anything for season two in the comments don't do that i'm gonna be very very upset at you um but yeah let me know who your favorites are if you have them or if you're like me and are just like i support women's wrongs so have like no actual favorite um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you would like to follow me on my social media they're all linked in the description down below and yeah i hope you guys are staying safe um and healthy you could put a mask on back on um if you took it off it's always it's never too late to put it back on um but yeah thank you guys and i hope you have a good day Bye bye